I'm going to try to make a video now that uses the Giphy API with zero preparation. I've never Googled or looked at. I don't even know if I've ever looked at the Giphy website. This is probably going to go down in flames, but I'm going to give it a try. Anyway, you're going to see in 15 minutes, can I make a working code example where I query the Giphy API and get some GIFs on the screen? And you guys can, while I'm screwing stuff up, can argue over whether I should say GIF or JIF. Somebody tell me I have no idea. So let me look for Giphy. Uh, Giphy is a website that I uh, if I go to there, search for GIFs, they will search for my name, which is like the most vain thing you can do. Of course, there's no GIFs with Shiftman in them. Rainbow, there we go. Rainbow is good. I've got some nice rainbow GIFs here. I like this one. This is a nice one. You can see nice rainbow GIFs. So there must be an API here. <laughs> Let me look for a Giphy API. Ah, look at that. I've got a GitHub link. That's, that's good news. I've also got here a URL api.giphy.com. Let's start with that URL. Uh, okay, so often a question that comes up when using an API is, do you, do you need to sign up? Do you need a key? I have no idea. This is like, this is exciting. Somehow this is like, I don't know, I feel, it's whatever. Okay, uh, get started, Giphy search, Giphy trending, Giphy roulette. Oh, oh, these are other apps that people have made. Uh, let's go to get started. Oh, okay, I'm on the, uh, uh, give access and API keys public beta key. So the Giphy API is open to the public, a single public beta key to let anyone try it out. Well, all right, that sounds good to me. So I'm gonna use the public API in this demonstration. Obviously, if you're gonna do something more involved, you'll wanna uh, get a, I'm standing in front of the text, you're gonna wanna get a production API key, but I, I don't think I'd even get one. So, okay, so I wanna use that. I'm gonna go down overview. The Giphy API, um, provides the following, and I'm standing in front of the text again. This is terrible. Let me, let me, I can't, let me move this over and let me make this a little bigger. The Giphy API provides the following JSON endpoints. So I can ask for a random one, looks like a trending one. I can get stickers by ID, one GIF by ID. And right. So this is good. So I'm just figuring out, this is the kinds of things that the API can give me. I think search is probably a good place for us to start. A uh, random would also be a great place for us to start. But I'm uh, again, like I, I mentioned, <laughs> I'm very easily embarrassed and I'm worried about getting an embarrassing GIF. But you know, I should, I should not be where I should just live in the moment that where we are. Okay. Um, so let's see if I can find uh, this is, so this is okay. So let's start piecing this together a little bit. So I'm going to open up actually just like text edit. Actually, you know, I'll go, I'll go to P5, and I'm going to make a new project. I'm going to close this New York Times one. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to call this Giphy API, and uh, I'm going to just give myself some space at the top in comments where I can start pasting stuff in there that I might need for working with the API. So what I definitely need is this. This is the URL to the API. Uh, I'm also going to need this public key. Let's save that there. Now, search all Giphy GIFs for a word or phrase. Punctuation will be stripped or ignored. Use a plus or URL and code for phrases. <laughs> oh yeah, Ryan Gosling GIFs. That's, that's gonna be good. <laughs> that was weird. That, I, I feel like that was weird that I made a weird dance and talked about Ryan Gosling. I, I really should edit that out, but it's too late. Apparently that just was like I was overcome by the name Ryan Gosling. Maybe we'll get some good eating cereal. Isn't there like an eating cereal meme with Ryan Gosling? Anyway, so this is good. This is probably all I need because uh, it's like giving me, look at this, it's giving me all this wonderful information. This is the path, so I need that. I'm gonna put that in here. And then these are some of the things I need like search queue. So every, every this, is, this is in case you've come here from some strange place on the internet. All of those, all of these, uh, all of this list here are parameters. Parameters are name value pairs that get strung together like uh, Q equals Ryan Gosling. And then uh, limit is like how many results do I get? The maximum is 100. Well, if I'm getting gifts about Ryan Gosling, oh my God, the limit is, is the sky is the limit, right? Do you think I could say limit equals sky and I would, the sky, okay, so now I'm back. And so anyway, there's more stuff there, but I don't really need all that stuff. All I need is to realize that I want to say things like Q equals, and I'll just, I'll go back to rainbow. <laughs> I don't think I can, I don't think I can handle Ryan Gosling. Uh, it's, it's too much, too much, Ryan, it's too much for me. I just, I can't handle it. I'll be overwhelmed, be I'll be overcome. Uh, um, <laughs> I've really lost it here. Uh, okay, 
Uh, OQ equals funny cat. That would be a good one. Anyway, and you can see API keys. So this is really all I need. I'm done. We're, we're good. So, um, so let's, let's put these in some variables. This is going to be great. HTTP, okay, <laughs> var API equals a string with the path. Right? I'll call this endpoint. I don't even know if that's the right terminology, but this is the thing that I know needs to go after the API. And honestly, that's silly that I'm making this into two different variables, I guess. I'll just put this one up here, right? Because I'm just using the search, so I need to make this a little bit bigger. So now I have a URL, which is the URL to that API. I have a uh, API key, which is, oh, camera, come back to me camera. Um, I have a key, which is this, and I'm going to put that over here. Now, I forget what did it need. It needs, it needs to look like this, and ampersand API underscore key equals. So in my code, I'm actually going to say and, no, I'm just going to say ampersand API underscore key equals, and then I'm going to uh, have a query be and q equals rainbow. And by the way, this right here, a query, a query, a set of a query string always begins with the question mark. So it's API key equals something and q equals something and limit equals something. But all of that begins with a question mark. So this would be the full API. And I've kind of broken my own cardinal rule here where I started writing code before I even check to see if I was getting results in the browser. So let's go back and let's kind of, uh, let's go back to the browser here and I need all three of these pieces. I need, I need this piece. Um, let me open a new tab, that piece, followed by this piece, followed by this piece. And I'm going to hit enter. Oh, awesome. So now it looks like I got some data and I got a URL. Uh, bit.ly URL, an embed URL, source. The thing that I'm looking for is the actual like GIF file. This is like an MP4 WebP uh, URL. This one I think will do. Like if I, this, I think this is like the link that I want. Like I want to get something that I can display quickly in the browser. And I'm sure I could make any of this stuff work. I could embed the like Giphy embed, or I could get the original source as an MP4 file. But what I want is something that's like pointing to an actual GIF file. If I copy that address and paste it up here in the browser, we can see that, oh yes, that I'm getting, oh this is, wow. I never expected to get such a wonderful rainbow GIF URL. Uh, okay, you, blah, 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 blah. I suddenly, <laughs> I was so overcome that I lost the ability to speak. Okay, so, um, all right, so w this is good, this is good. So now I gotta go back, I gotta go back, and I've gotta say, uh, create, no canvas. I'm, f I'm like, I feel like I'm in a hurry all of a sudden. I gotta, uh, I wanna make that URL, which is API plus API key plus query. And ultimately, again, I don't want rainbow to be hard coded into my code. I wanna get that from the user input. But I might, you know, I did that in a couple different previous videos. You can almost think of that as an exercise for yourself. But now I'm going to say load JSON URL <laughs> got data. So again, the load JSON function is a P5JS function where I give a URL from an API that's going to give me back JSON. I have a callback got data. So if I write that got data function. Uh, and I give it an argument. I've said this in like all the videos I've made today. That data variable gets filled with the data from the API. And I just want to see first, again, does this even work? I'll add a print line in there. And I'm going to run. And I can see, look, OK, so data came in there. That's a good sign. So now I've got to figure out, again, this is that thing. This is hard. I've got to figure out, uh, I've got to unpack this JSON. So first. One thing I can notice is that data, this is going to be awkward because I'm going to have this moment where I'm saying data.data .data because the first key, the first property of this object that came back from Giphy is data. So then what is data? It's an array. And each element of the array, I'm guessing, I'm assuming, is one particular GIF with lots of information about that. Uh, and what I want is index zero images dot original dot URL. I guess I could get like different sizes and stuff, but let's go with uh, data index zero dot images dot original dot URL. I think, was that right? I, I can't, I'm like having trouble getting all the way to the right here. 
Yep, that's right. Uh, I think that's right. Okay, so let's give that a try. Did, I, did that make sense? So I want to say data dot data index zero dot images dot original dot URL. Could that possibly be right? Let's go back and look at that again. Data dot data uh, dot images dot original dot URL. <laughs> I, usually I have like a whiteboard really handy, which I have one over there. Dot, okay, I think this is right. Let's just run it and have some faith. Look at that. That looks like a URL that makes sense. If I click it, I see it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Now we're talking. So guess what? Guess what P5 has for you? Oh, this camera's off. One of the functions in the P5 DOM library is a function called create IMG. Now there's a lot of different ways of working with images in the browser. They can, you can load them from a file, you can draw them in a canvas, you can mess with their pixels. What this particular function does is it makes an HTML element that looks like this, right? Now there's lots of different attributes and ways that you can configure and style this particular element, but if you give it an argument, that's what becomes the source, the source of that particular image tag. So what I want to do is take the path to my Giphy thing and then create an element that will appear in on the screen, so in, on the web page. So all I sh should, what I should be able to do is just say create IMG instead of print line with this particular URL. And I, I, I kind of want to put just like, um, I'm going to just call this Giphy, just so it doesn't say like data.data. .data. I think that's confusing to look at. So got data, fill the data with Giphy. The, the lighting in here changed. Um, and now let's run this and see what happens. Look, and there I have my rainbow. Now here's the thing, Giphy, it gave me more than just one image, right? So this is, this is pretty exciting. What I can do is now say for var i equals zero, i is less than, what's the array here? Giphy.data index zero, Giphy.data.length, i plus plus, and I can say index i now. So I'm going to make an image element for every single image that I've gotten from Giphy. And we can see, look at this. I've got this page, they're all there. All of my, this is like the, this is, this is quite, uh, quite the, no, this is a good one. There we go. That, that, that is her. I'm just going to like never make a video again because I, this is like the perfect thing to ever have in one of my videos. Um, so anyway, you can see, boy, this is fun. There's lots of things you could probably play with. So what do you do with this? I don't know. Maybe you get take user input. Maybe you, you arrange them in a different way. I don't know. Maybe it just makes you happy to like look at GIFs, I guess. It's making me happy. I, you know, we really should do the Ryan Gosling thing, I think, before this video ends. So, but you know, that would be the, um, I don't even know how to spell Ryan Gosling. Uh, let's see if that's right. Um, so you can see, here we go. Ryan Gosling, there you are. Uh, and so, you know, this is the thing, like I'm changing the word. What could you do with this? Make something interesting with this, play around with this. Um, send me an email or a tweet or write in the comments. I would love to know uh, what you do with this example. Uh, hopefully this helped you with yet another kind of API you could use. Now, here's the thing. I, there was a, it, I, we gotta have a chat. <laughs> You and me, because I've been doing a lot of these videos about working with APIs and I kind of, you know, one thing I haven't really showed you is what if you need to make like a whole lot of API calls all at once? There's some issues that can come up. You know, you've got like, if you're creating a lot of callbacks all at once, how do you know which callbacks goes with which API call? You might be generating a lot of DOM elements all at once, it could lock up your browser. So I do need, you know, there's, some, there's some pitfalls here and I think I need to make a video soon that just sort of covers those scenarios. And there's this thing called a JavaScript closure. What do you think the chances are there are Giphy's associated with the word closure? This is, this is like high risk here. Uh, I don't know what this, this is, this is not, this is not working for me. But anyway, um, so uh, I was hoping I would get something interesting to look at. Cut that out. But so I, I want to make a video that sort of covers this topic and maybe we'll look at it even in the context of um, Giphy, which has seemed to be a nice API to use. Okay, so this was a totally off the cuff uh, thing that I did. Hopefully it worked and you got something out of it. And I've now made three videos today. It's two o'clock, which is the time that I said I was going to end. But yeah, I'm in the recording part. Never mind, you don't care about the time. Uh, 
Schiffman Ryan Gosling hashtag rainbow heart thing. I don't know. That's too long. You, you, you figure out what that is. Um, I, wake up, mouse. Goodbye, and I'll see you soon.